art, it was in my family. My uncle was a sculptor on the, on the uh, Romeo side of the family in New York during the World's Fair. So the talent's there. Uh, I tell my, my, I tell people if, I, if there's a talent for everything, but you have to develop it. Just doesn't you know come out, flows out of you like the honey. You have to develop the hive. Uh, and uh, what the important thing there is that. The feedback is a reinforcement to know to do more and to do it better. There's no such thing as uh, perfection, but there's excellence. That should be the moral standard by which we use all our talents, both conspicuously or not. My dear mother and father provided me with an art instruction correspondence course, and that's that's the extent of my education. Yeah, they, they, we, there were seven of us, so that was quite a sacrifice, $400. I was uh, 16, 15 at the time. They would send you a pro problem, uh, artistically speaking, a problem, and then you would make, uh, you would study the, con the text, and they come up with a solution, you mail it back, and they would make corrections and send it back to you with, with suggestions of how to improve your, your art. Excitement. I was enjoying the thing I do. Uh, that gives me a lot of uh, gratification, you know, simple gratification. Uh, and I enjoyed it. Uh, and I always, the people, st faculty at high school would always compliment me on my work, this and that. I, I used to do the backdrops for some of the stage uh, events. And I, and I got two art, two art awards from the Suburban Women's League, freshman and senior years. And I sold some of my work to the teachers. I would do sketches, whatever, whatever it was. Sixty-one to sixty-four, and uh, over in Germany, uh, I was a foot soldier. The Cold War, yeah, very much so. We were 175 k's from the uh, the uh, Czech border. We were the Soviets. Had their, but it was fun. I met some great people. I did a mural for the battalion. A, uh, a, a, another huge painting of our a battle of Leyte. Uh, and I got an uh, army commendation as well. And another, another stripe for more money. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> after my discharge, I went to college for a while. Then I settled in with a uh, friend who did construction work, home improvement work. Um, then my, my wife, Kathy, at some point, was offered a job as a superintendent of a Roman Catholic cemetery, Mount Olivet Cemetery, actually, in Newark, by the airport. So I assisted her in the field as a supervisor for some time. Well, 30 years, but uh, I juggled many balls, so I was also a ecclesiastical artist in the Archdiocese of Newark, because a good friend of ours was a priest, and I had returned to my own uh, re religious foundation as a Roman Catholic. So I got naturally fell into, I had the talent, and I would do statuary repairs, a missing in finger, or repainting the statue. Uh, original work, I did murals in churches, uh, several. I got it, and at the same time, I reached out to the New Jersey School of Medicine and Dentistry, and I, I did two huge murals, actually six, eight by 16 feet, two of them, and had to install them. And so I did a lot, and I sculpted. Uh, so all of this was going on, and I was able to enjoy it. It was frustrating too, because you'd want it here, but you need to be there. You're doing that, but you need to do this. But as a result, I was still prolific with the, with the work. And that's, uh, you might say, intuition and inspiration, both within and from above, are all things possible. I, I knew the work was uh, sourcing from someplace I have never been. And uh, I was clearly convinced and persuaded that this was beyond something I was capable of doing, but I was asked to do it. Um, and so 
I worked uh, very seriously at producing whatever it was that was moving me, both in concept and content. And that was about, I was, how old was I? I was guessing, it's, uh, I'm, eight, I'm almost 80 years old. So that, that happened, oh, about 25 years ago that I, but the term they use in art is uh, making a statement, which means that there's something more than just your own uh, narcissistic behavior at work, and that you had to be uh, committed to that. Uh, and you were, without, make, without making the effort. It just, it just felt right. You know, like to be somewhere or to say something, you feel it's just right, and so was the art. The work I did, I enjoyed doing, it gave me a lot of uh, self-contentment that I didn't have to reach out to someone else for, or to eat something, or to go somewhere, or to drink something. It wasn't in a material sense, it was a quasi-spiritual sense. And that's very, very gratifying. Uh, and, well, we deal with our demons as well. Uh, you know, you want to do this, you want to do that, you excess and indulgence here, indulgence there. Uh, and that's a part of the history of everyone. Uh, that's why we need to center ourselves in a transcendent uh, being uh, sooner or later. So I worked, uh, my wife worked, I worked. We had a good life, good living, we ate well, we had shelter, we had community around us. I never thought I could, uh, first of all, I, 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 you, know, you could assume too much about any subject and shortchange yourself consider considerably. I thought, well, without, without full-time devotion, without uh, you know, this, without the other thing, that wouldn't be possible. So I'll just stick it in between events, between the years. And that's, that's the result. That's what you see. And as far as the, the variation in my work, it, I, a lot of it just comes to me, you know, and I deal with issues that are current, war, pollution, religion, uh, disaster, uh, the condition of mankind. I like big work. It, 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 free, it frees you. It frees you. Uh, it frees you up. It freezes up your your uh, uh, creative uh, self, uh, and, and it allows for a greater expression of uh, what you've internalized uh, and d develop into a painting or a drawing. A lot of the work. Some of it is oil. Some of it is charcoal, uh, some of it is acrylic wash. And the subject matter, I always would challenge, I said, could I do that? I look at an artist's work, I said, could I do that? And that's why the style for on the far side represents Miro, M-I-R-O, and so on. And then again, some of my work is original that I have, you won't find it in a book. The thing about art is, is its spontaneity. If you, that spontaneous sketch or a spontaneous, even a thought, if we go into philosophy, is perfect. It can't be improved upon. You might color it, you might enlarge it, but it's just what it is. And I got, uh, it's some great, what I, uh, you know, I, I look still, I'm trying to get a, uh, a photographer to uh, enlarge this slide into a paper format of three. Really it's outstanding sketches I did. You see, in nine out of 10 times, you won't get a commission, but you accumulate a lot of sketches, right? A lot of religious work. Um, and I, I saved them all, uh, and uh, I'm pleased with the, with the result. You have to help yourself to uh, the threshold of opportunity, and things happen. Oftentimes they won't, but when they do, it's wonderful, you know? I did uh, memorials for two police departments, et cetera, et cetera. Which police department? Uh, Scotch Plains uh, Police Academy. And the other is, um, is uh, Elizabeth Police Complex One 
in New Jersey. Um, and I did, I did uh, the big, uh, the two paintings for the medical school. Uh, how, do, how, do you, how do I get that? Well, I had, I had connections with priests, different parishes, so that helped in that regard with the sacred art. The secular art, very rarely does someone come. Yeah, if you don't have a big, grand reputation, and there's so many good people out there, so many great artists, it's, it's tough. And uh, so I, I kind of balance, I, I had no other choice but to balance all of these possibilities uh, over time. If you have the talent, you can work, uh, I don't want to sound self-righteous, or I mean, you know, like a, but if you have the talent, you can use any media, right? It's like going into your utensil drawer. You could take a knife here, a fork there, or some, whatever you need. You, it's as simple as that. All you have to do is learn the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the restrictions of the, me of the media, the medium, what can be done with them, and that takes practice. But an artist, when you, uh, uh, you see a block of styrofoam, and you, you, you can sculpt a figure out of that. I've done it. And I sit back and I say, how the hell did you do that? A special relationship to the nature around me. Uh, I don't live in a vacuum. And all these things impinge upon my artistic uh, um, sensitive nature. It gives birth to whatever uh, you know, events, maybe event might trigger 9-11 or something. I was enthralled with New York City, its uh, energy, its power, its uh, prestige, and so on, it's, but also the downside of New York City, its darkness. I said, I'm going to conceptualize that. And I come up with uh, all these, like this, thumbnail sketches of all seven paintings. I can't, they go beyond the seven because there's no more inspiration. But I, I, I come with thumbnail, thumbnail sketches. I said, I'm going to. And then my wife and I were out in the cemetery that day, and we looked up and we saw the World Trade, one of the World Trade Center buildings, terrible trail of smoke southbound. I said, we couldn't imagine what it was. And we, 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 we come to the conclusion it couldn't have been an airplane because it was a perfectly sunny day. Then we heard on the radio. We walked out again, we were doing a burial. We walked out again and the buildings were gone. And, so I says, I said, that's more than coincidence that I would be working on this study of the, of the, of the citadel of capitalism, and this would happen. I said, I got to get that all together somehow, put the two together. And that's, that's the result is this over time. I think it's divine intervention, but people look at me and say, the guy's nuts. But uh, that's, the, my, that's my uh, statement. Yes, I have. What, what I had in mind was uh, the metaphysical reality of what happened. This is fiction based in fact. It's symbolic. It's the threshold moment of when, th when this happened. And it has no time limit. There's no past, present, or future here. Everything that happened at 9-11 is already in, uh, in the framework of what I did. Um, the victims. The victims, their, their, their life is, their material self is ended, but they in exchange for a spiritual one. For example, the, the painting you'll see with uh, uh, the yellow painting, you know, like a little altar with two ravens, which are script, script, have foundations in scripture. In other words, we're always trying to appease the gods. What we have here, all these deaths, okay, or a sacrifice to the importance of the self of the liberties that we enjoy from day to day and normally take for granted or don't even think about. So it wasn't sacrifice sacrifice in vain. And it wasn't it shouldn't have been done in the first place, but then you have uh, the other side of the moon, which is dark, the forbidden. So I, I introduce these figures, organic figures, which represent the living, and then there's other figures which you might construe as the threat that the living face that day and endure it afterwards. Well, Picasso! <laughs>
brilliant, creatively brilliant. I have his retrospective home, a big book, the Met had a retrospective of Picasso some time ago. I'm looking again and again, I says, how does he do it? Where's the secret? Maybe the there is none. He, did, he, only, he can only have one Picasso, one Michelangelo, you know, and one of myself. However, we should be motivated by the very best that has been and yet to come. Character, courage, um, self-sufficiency. I and mean, we, we breathe, it, breathe it in in our own culture yeah, uh, based on meritocracy, based on picking yourself up. We see different things based on our own different experiences. But there should be something uh, that humanly connects us in every, every work, you know, however abstract it may be. The more abstract may be, the more deeper the perception. <laughs> right, yeah. I, of course, of the war, the thing in the Middle East, I did those military things. And when I think about it, you, you could extrapolate that reality and apply it to what's going on now in the Middle East. It seems like a changeless scene of repeating violence and death. So those, I, in, uh, the one you'll see a police officer beating, so they're all things that uh, shouldn't be. So you want to amplify the fact that they are. So more and more people will, you know, hopefully, some will, wake, uh, will have an awakening moment and say, oh boy, maybe, uh, maybe I should rethink racism or rethink prejudice a little more carefully. Religion and politics, it's crazy. It really is crazy. Brother killing brother, it's crazy. But uh, I'm comfortable with it all because I believe the, the, the sort of, I believe there's a higher power at work that sees to what we can and what we wouldn't want to see in the first place. I'm a born again guy. <laughs> but you know why to get born by the moment. <laughs> You're not born and everything's cool. Uh, you, I, I realize there's a fun, there's, there's a, a God that loves us, a God that loves his creation. From the, from the minute to the the grand members of that creation are loved by him. Nothing is not sacred. And so, uh, including myself, you know, uh, you know, we struggle with uh, selfishness, uh, self-centeredness, uh, self-righteous kind of behaviors, anger, all of those emotions are part of our psyche. To get a grip on them, you need to experience their pain again and again and again sometimes and realize that you can't do it alone. You don't have it. You have the will to do so, but you don't have the application. Right? You're left in the air. It's like, uh, you know, you can only tr tread water so long before you sink. And uh, so I realized that, and I was a member of the community. I'm not, I got, I've, I've, I've had some misgivings about my own background in religion. They said, of course, it's so paternal and so rich, uh, Catholicism. And the women, you know, I should have a, a more of a, an involvement, frankly. Um, uh, and, the, and I find scripture uh, something bit hard to uh, accept. It's so off the wall, so impossible. And it was written by, you know, people who said they were, their hand, the scribes, that this hand of the scribe was guided by the hand of God. Well, maybe not. Galileo is a good example. <laughs> so you need, you need, so those, those things, and I was really getting uptight, more and more uptight as I got older, because Well, it, it's like you're, you're running out of time to make the statement it has to be made. So I, there's a uh, uh, time is uh, on, 
not on my side. I have to do what the, with the time I have as uh, well as I can yeah. before I'm asked to give an account of my life. What I did, I did, uh, and it's done. I don't think about it afterwards. But I would like others to see the work. That's why I, I try to find a venue for my work. It's not that I want to hog it. I, I tell my wife all the time, I said, I said, all the work I did is going to wind up in a, a dumpster at some point. <laughs> so let's get it out there. Let's, it's not about making money. It's about sharing the inspiration that, uh, I, that uh, I experienced. I'm dreaming, but if I was accepted by a, a, a bona fide gallery in, in the Red Bank and they say, hey, this is good, pursue this, can you come up with a, a series? Then I would uh, have a green light, uh, I would go ahead. All of these are studies. These were not meant, these were meant to be final works, but I didn't have the time. So I, 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 the, idea would, uh, the, the, the idea would come to me, I made sure I got it down on paper. And I said, in the future, if there's uh, an opportunity and the time, I can come in. Some of these you wouldn't want to. They have a spontaneity you can't reproduce. If I would have tried to reproduce that in oil, I couldn't get the, the, the thing to look like that. Right? So that's why uh, this art I really love. And I love the ones, the mechanical things I did. You know, I, whatever. That's what I did. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I just do what I do, you know, and I hope uh, others appreciate it, and I think others appreciate it, too. Support public libraries. Like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.